Hi, welcome to the Angular and Spring Boot CRUD tutorial. If you're following my YouTube channel from the longest time, probably you know that there is a video course on my YouTube channel which is Angular 2 and Spring MVC. This I have been created uh, two years back. Since then, so many things have been changed. So now if anyone tries to follow this video course, definitely he or she will run into some errors because so many things have been changed. Right now, the latest version of Angular is uh, 9 and uh, the we can create a Spring applications using the Spring Boot. It's a tool to create a Spring based applications. So many things will change and uh, that's why I wanted to upgrade this course or I wanted to recreate this course because so many people will be requesting me to update the course. So that's why today I'm creating a brand new video course on Angular and Spring Boot. The main goal of this application is just to make a HTTP request to the Spring Boot backend application. We will be making a post request, get request, put request and delete request. And also we are going to uh, perform some searching and sorting. And I will walk you through the application which we are going to create in a bit. Before that, if you're following my YouTube channel for the first time, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also you can visit my website, which is bushansirgo.in. I'll every day I'll write a post on Java technologies. Make sure to follow on my YouTube channel as well as my website bushansirgo.in. And the application which we are going to create is an expense tracking application. I want to keep this video course as simple as possible because um, if you start creating a enterprise kind of application that will take a lot of time and really I do not have that much of time to make a video series on that. So that's why I'm going to keep this video series as simple as that. But definitely we are going to update this video course uh, in the future. We will be adding a, a small features in the maybe in the future. But for now, let's focus on the CRUD operations. So the application which we are going to create is expense tracking application. User can create an expense, update an expense and delete an expense. And also user can filter the expense and user can also sort the expenses. So let's walk you through this application. Uh, we will get an idea how we can we are going to proceed this uh, with this example. So right now we have four expenses in our uh, application. So user can filter the expenses. Let's say if the user types the character M is going to filter the record which contains the character M. Right now we have the monitor contains M and the washing machine which contains M. So if I type MA, it is going to filter the record which contains the character MA, washing machine which contains MA. But if I go back one character back, it will filter the characters M. Uh, we have two records with the character M and if the user clears out then it is going to display all the records. Let's say if the user types for headphone it contains the characters HEA in the headphone and it is going to filter out the headphone. And this is about the filtering and user can even sort the expenses based on the expense name and the amount. The expense name which is going to sort in the ascending order and the amount is sorting in the descending order. So right now uh, by default it has been selected for the expense name. So it is sorted in the ascending order. The C comes first then H M W. So if I change it to amount it is going to sort in the descending order. You can see the highest amount comes first which is 13,000 then 8,000 then 7,000 then 700 and then 200. So this is uh, the sorting and if the user search for let's say M and inside within these two records we can sort if the user selects amount you can see within these two records the amount has been sorted if the user selects name within these two records it has been sorted based on the ascending order so this is about the searching and sorting we can user can also add a new expense let's go ahead and add a new expense I'm going to add for uh, let's say we're going to add some what, what I can say let's say macbook air and which is around 50,000 and something when the user clicks on add expense you can see the macbook air has been added and it's cost around 50,000 so user can even edit this also so I have used bootstrap card to design this uh, expenses list so if the user click on anywhere on this card to edit the expense so when the user click on this 
edit button you can see we have this delete button as well so if the user can even edit this as well so let's say change this to 60,000 and when the user click on this add expense you can see uh, the record has been updated to 60,000 so this is all about the cloud operations so I hope you have gotten high level overview of this application which we are going to build in the next upcoming videos and feel free to reach out to me if you have any queries on this video course or if you have if you want the source code you can always go to my website which is uh, bushansirgo.in and again this is just the upgraded version of my previous video course which is angular and spring mvc which i created two years back don't follow this video course because definitely you will run into some errors try to follow this video course which is the brand new one which i'm creating right now and i'm going to up, uh, like upload these uh, the videos every uh, every day with the two videos and probably the this course will contains maybe like 15 to 16 videos and once uh, which is done then we can go with some other uh, courses right now i will be recording the video course for this angular and spring boot and that's it for this video and thank you so much for watching again if you are new to my youtube channel then considering subscribing my youtube channel and also you can become a member to my youtube channel for the extra videos which i will be posting for you guys and yeah that's all about this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video